Hello, it's Anne Murphy here from Domesticity, the um, creator of the Shop Smart Eat Well program. And I thought I'd try and get um, on Facebook Live a bit more often to show you some of my quick and easy recipes that I make on my $150 per fortnight budget. And it's taken me so long to try and find how, uh, how to get the best angle for my um, camera on my phone. And I swear it's nearly lunchtime, but I wanted to make a quick hummus today. I've just become more mindful of having those sweet treats for morning tea. And I really love hummus. Hummus, hummus, whichever way you want to um, say it. But it's, um, if you buy it from the supermarket in the refrigerated section, it doesn't taste anywhere near as nice as when you make it homemade yourself. So I'd really like for you to give it a try. Um, it doesn't take many ingredients. I've, um, I've thrown the can away now, but I have got dried chickpeas in the pantry, but I've also always got a can of um, can or two of chickpeas just to add to a stew or a salad or um, to make hummus. So there's nothing to it really. Um, I've, my husband gave me this little um, Bellini blender a couple of years ago for Christmas. And it was something that I wanted. I wanted one of these little mini food processes. And I swear it's one of the best little um, kitchen appliances that I've got. And it just whizzes up everything in just um, a couple of minutes. So chopping nuts, pureeing vegetables, whatever. So um, that's how I'm going to do it. So all you've got to do is just um, strain your can of chickpeas. Now, if you want to save that liquid that the chickpeas are in, that's called um, aquafaba, I think it's called. And you can actually make a meringue out of it, a um, vegan or vegetarian meringue. It's not an animal. Um, I've never done it, but it works. Um, you just add your sugar and um, it makes a lovely meringue. So to this um, can of chickpeas, you're going to add two tablespoons of tahini. Now, this is the last of my jar of tahini. Tahini is a um, sesame seed paste, and I always have it in the pantry because it's a good alternative to peanut butter. If you're making bliss balls or anything like that, and you run out of peanut butter, um, tahini is really good. And um, it's got a lovely taste. You can add it to salad dressings. Um, just eat it on its own. Lovely, smoky, sort of roasted sesame seed taste and it's used for a lot of um, Mediterranean or Middle Eastern type cuisine. Always keep a jar of it in the pantry. To that you're going to add um, two teaspoons of garlic or two garlic cloves. I always have the minced garlic in the fridge. I don't have any fresh lemons so I'm just going to use the long life um, lemon juice. I've only got a little bit left. They say um, recipe calls for about the juice of one lemon, so that was about the end of it. I'm not much of a measurer. Um, sprinkle of, um, well, they say about a teaspoon of um, cumin. Cumin and Middle Eastern uh, flavour as well. Good pinch of salt. And then about two uh, to three tablespoons of olive oil. You might need a little bit of water to make it um, a little bit more spreadable to the consistency that you like. Now I don't have a, a power outlet here, so I'm just going to go over to where the power is to just blitz this up just to show you like puree it for as long as you want but you really only want it to puree for a couple of minutes this is quite um quite good at pureeing things i don't know why that's not wanting to go on there we go just be back in a sec
so you heard that I did that in probably about a minute there it is I'm just going to taste it not perfect and I swear it doesn't taste anything like the store-bought stuff now um, like in the supermarket this will keep for um, a good couple of days in the fridge I've got my morning tea ready of some uh, celery sticks and some leftover white tortilla chips that I bought um, the last time I shopped I'm just going to add a probably two tablespoons of the hummus to the plate and there you go there's a um, high protein healthy snack um, it can go on a salad at lunchtime um, I'm just going to enjoy it as is and that's my quick and easy hummus recipe ready in a couple of minutes so stay tuned for more recipes um, I'm just going to have to try and work out the best way to position my phone in my small kitchen but um, I'm all about quick and easy but tasty recipes so hopefully you'll um, join me on these lives. Thanks very much. Bye.